get a picture of my boys before their big trip. Smart to document this. Next time you see me, I'll have been in the presence of Stephen Hawking. Smile. I prefer to look serious. This may appear in a textbook someday. Say Stephen Hawking. Stephen, Stephen Hawking. Aw, oh, you mean... Thirty-four A and B. This is us. All right, you want the aisle or the window? Which one is assigned to me? It doesn't matter. Just pick one. Well, if I sit by the window, I can watch the takeoff and landing. But if I sit on the aisle, I'm closer to the bathroom. Here we go. Although if I'm by the window, you'll have to get up when I use the bathroom. But if I'm not, I'll have to get up when you use the bathroom. Just pick one. It's a tricky decision. My bladder is smaller than yours. Everything okay here? It's about to be. Here. <laughs> Isle it is. <laughs> We're good. Okay. And this is your captain speaking. We're expecting a smooth flight to Los Angeles. Before we take off, please direct your attention to the flight attendants as they review some important safety procedures. Safety procedures? Oh, baby. Take a minute to locate the exit closest to you. The nearest exit could be behind you. Should the cabin experience sudden pressure loss, oxygen masks will drop down from above your seat. Why would the cabin lose pressure? Place the mask over your mouth and nose like this. Pull the strap to tighten it. If you are traveling with children, make sure that your own mask is on first before helping your child. I don't like this at all. It's just a precaution, you know, perfectly safe. In the unlikely event of a water landing and evacuation, leave your water landing, water landing, water landing. I can't do this. We'll be right back. Uh, sir? Sheldon, come out of there. No! At least open the door. Tell them I need to get off. Sir, you both need to return to your seats. Just one second. Sir, sir. If you want to see Stephen Hawking, we have to sit down right now. It's too dangerous. I can't. It's OK to be scared. Sure. That, that's when you got to dig deep and be brave. What do you say? No! I'm your terrified little boy. OK. Sir, please, they're going to call security. Just one more second. Mr. Spock, he flies around all the time in that spaceship. He's not afraid, is he? I'm not Mr. Spock. No, but, but I've seen you pretend to be him. Could you do that right now? You be Spock, I'll be Kirk. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, Mr. Spock. Your first order is to return to your seat. Aye, Captain. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. You okay, Mr. Spock? Doing my best, sir. The Captain and Mr. Spock don't hold hands. Sorry? the stimulating conversations that must go on at these tables. I bet. I can see myself going here one day. I think you'd fit right in. 